Hello, today I will tell you a story. A haunted house. Once there was a big house. One day a family came there to live. It was a family of four members. Simon, Mary, Olivia and her younger brother Harry. The first one week was fine. But one day Olivia and Harry were playing hide and seek with their mate. They decided to hide in the attic. But when they went upstairs, they saw a room. The room has a window which directly opens in the room. They wanted to see what is inside that room. They saw a big lock on the door. Then they stand in front of the window and started to peek inside the room. It was a bedroom. Suddenly, Harry noticed that someone is lying on the bed. Look, someone is lying on the bed. Harry said to Olivia. She turned to see, but she saw nothing. She said, Harry, no one is lying on the bed. Don't try to scare me. They went downstairs and started to play again. After this, whenever Harry saw in his mirror, he saw that guy lying on his bed. He told this to his mother, but she didn't notice. One day, Olivia and Harry were alone at the house. They were playing video game. Suddenly, the TV turns off. They jumped the circuit, but it was on. They checked all the connections, but nothing was wrong. All of a sudden, the TV turns on by itself. They thought that it would be a technical problem. After some time, Harry slept, but Olivia was still playing the game. All of a sudden, the screen of the TV turns black. After a few seconds, a girl appeared on the screen. She was standing with her doll. After a few seconds, she suddenly said, Whoever will find my door, I will give him or her a prize. And the game started. Olivia was astonished. Next day, Olivia told her experience of last night to her family. Mary said, Harry also told me that he had experienced a paranormal activity. This is all because of that room, Olivia said. Simon decided to open that room. They called a lock master and he opened that lock. They all were surprised that the room was clean. There was a closet. They opened it. There was a doll. Olivia was abducted by the doll. She wanted that doll. Her father gave that doll to her. She was happy. Next day, Mary was cooking food in the kitchen. She was alone in the house. She heard heavy footsteps upstairs. She ignored it first, but when that sound became louder, she asked, Who's upstairs? No one answered. She picked a knife and walked towards the stairs. When she was in the middle of the stairs, she saw a shadow coming out of her room. The shadow was holding a knife. Suddenly, the shadow disappeared. She thought that it would be her imagination. But when she turned back, the man was standing behind her. He was black and attacked on her. She ran upstairs and hid in her room. When she was in the room, the creature was knocking at the door. After five minutes, the knocking was over. She opened the door slowly and saw nobody was outside. She went downstairs and started to cook again. At the night, she told all the happenings to her family. They all were scared. After two days, it was Olivia's birthday. She invited her old friends. After the party, her friend decided to stay at her house. They were sitting in Olivia's room. She showed her doll to her friends. They chatted and played some games. In a few minutes, they wanted to take tea. Emily, Olivia's best friend, knows how to make tea. It was 12 o'clock. She went downstairs. She turns on the kitchen's light and started to make tea. When she turned back to take water from the fridge, she saw the doll. She was surprised because she remembers that it is Olivia's doll. She picked it and put it on the sofa in the lounge. She went in the kitchen and saw that doll again in the kitchen. Olivia and her friend heard Emily's scream. They went downstairs and saw Emily died. They called her parents. The police arrived at Olivia's house to investigate, but they didn't find any evidence. 
After this incident, Olivia did not talk to anyone. She always stays in her room. One day, when Olivia returned from school, she saw a piece of paper on the ground. She picked that piece. There was written upstairs with red ink. She walks towards the stairs. When she reached upstairs, she saw another piece of paper on which Goa had was written. She looked down and saw another piece of paper. She picked it and read that there was written open door. She opened that door and saw another piece of paper. She picked it and there was written look up. She looked up and screamed on what she had seen. There was her doll hanging with a rope and in her head there were a lot of pins attached. There was a paper attached with it. Olivia read it and there was written, I told you that whoever will find my doll give it back to me. But you didn't do that and this doll, I don't use those things that are used by others. Olivia was frightened and ran downstairs. She told this to her mother. They went upstairs and saw nothing. Next night, all the family members were sleeping. Simon was sleeping in his room. He heard that the tab of the bathroom was open. He went in the bathroom and closed the tab. He lay down on the bed. After a few times, he heard that sound again. He went in the bathroom and closed the tab. He looked up in the mirror and saw a black man. He turned but saw nothing. He saw again in the mirror and saw that man again. He turned back again but saw nothing. He saw again in the mirror but saw nothing. When he was going on his bed, he saw that black man at the door of the bathroom. Suddenly, the black man started to run towards him. There was a glass bottle on the side table. He picked that up and threw that on him, but he suddenly vanished. Simon was scared. In fact, all the family members were afraid. After two days, Harry was playing with his toys. He heard that someone was running. He went out of his room. He saw a girl standing at the corner of the corridor. He walked towards her, but when he was close to her, she was disappeared. Suddenly, he heard someone is running in the attic. He went upstairs. He saw Olivia standing in the corner of the attic. Olivia, why are you standing here? Harry asked. Come on, Olivia, let's go downstairs, Harry said. Suddenly, someone put his hands on his shoulder. He turned back and saw Olivia standing there. He said, If you are standing here, then who is standing there? He turned back and saw nobody. Olivia said, What are you saying? I was downstairs with mom in the kitchen. He told all the happenings to his parents. Their parents decided to leave this house. If you want to listen what happened next, then for part 2. Thanks for watching.